What's good, BM crew? It's your girl Maya and just Maya today because I want to do a very special video. I am showing you how I pin curl my hair. When I joined Dolls, I had no idea how to pin curl my own hair. So I definitely got a lot of tips and help from people on the team. My favorite pin curler of all time is Leger McKinley. So shout out to my craft sister because she could curl some hair. Even when she like wasn't on the team anymore, she was still curling my hair. That's solid, right? That's so solid. The methods I'm gonna show you like pin curling my hair is what she does when she pin curls my hair. So let's get started. First, you need some um, heat protector. Now, you only need this if you have to curl your real hair. Like if you have leave out or if you have no weave at all, um, you definitely wanna use some heat protective spray. You need some edge control and an edge brush. Some people use a toothbrush, but toothbrush don't work out for me. Like never have and probably never will. So I get the little hair brushes that be at the, I mean the little edge brushes that be at the hair store. You need a comb. I like using rat tail combs, but feel free to use whatever. Don't use a wide tooth comb though. Like you wanna have specific parts. You need some bobby pins. Now, I definitely recommend the large like jumbo. I don't know if you can see, but this is jumbo bobby pins. So use jumbo because It'll, especially if you have tracks in your hair, uh, which I did when I was on a team, you wanna be able to like stick the bobby pin. It needs to be big enough to be able to like go in the track and in the braid so it's really secured. If not, it's probably just gonna end up falling out overnight. You can have these uh, silver clips that helps too, like if you have tracks that you need to clip your pin curls to. And then of course you need, ah! Of course you need a flat iron. Um, some people curl with curling irons, but I don't. Um, you also need an edge wrap so you can lay your edges down and they be suede. And a bonnet to, but this is for later. This is like whenever the pin curls are done and you go to sleep on the pin curls because you wanna sleep in them so they can last. But um, that's all you need, so let's get started. Okay, so first you want to um, part your hair, like wherever, if you're gonna do a side part, middle part, just part it off. Also, honestly, before you do this, <laughs> if your hair isn't washed, blow dried, and flat ironed, you definitely wanna do that. Me personally, I like my hair to be a little dirty. Sounds crazy, but I like it to be a little dirty when I'm curling it because it lasts longer. I don't know, it could just be in my head, but I like my curls better when it's not fresh hair. Like when it's pretty like maybe one or two days old, that's when I like to curl it. So what I like to do is, uh, how do I don't explain it? I'm going to separate my hair half up, half down. I'm doing this because I don't like two small pin curls. That's just not my preference. Some people take the tracks like literally row by row and pin curl each row, but I never really like doing that because my pin curls come out too small. So separate your hair. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just, you know, separate it half up, half down. And then we're gonna take it by section. So I want y'all to see, I hope you can see, it's like not perfect, but half up, half down. And I'm gonna literally take smaller sections like this and then curl each section, okay? The bottom half of my hair is gonna be easier than the top because like the top has to be perfect. But the bottom is just like, you just want it to have a little oomph. So what I'm doing is I'm curling outward, right? You wanna curl outward. I don't like that curl. And that's gonna happen, like sometimes you're not gonna like it, so. I am curling outward, and then I'm gonna start, before it gets to the end, I'm gonna start to roll up. Y'all, I said you need heat protector, and what I did, not use the heat protector. <laughs> so, I don't like to put it like directly on my hair, I like to spray it in my hand and then kind of like mix it up, put it throughout my hair, finger it throughout my hair. Don't put too much because 
You don't want it to look super oily. But um, put this on your real hair. So if you have leave out, put it on your real hair, right? And then I'm gonna go back to the separate. <laughs> and y'all leave it in there just like this. I'm not gonna edit it out to be perfect, no. Y'all don't see the mess ups because that's honestly what happens when you curl your hair. Like, you gonna have to do some stuff over. All right, so I separated half again. And then now I'm gonna get my smaller section and I'm gonna curl it. Curl it outward. Some people curl under, but this is how Leger curls my hair. And that's what I do. And I like the way it comes out. So what I'm doing is I'm like opening and closing it very minimally so I can catch those last ends that I left out. Roll it and then just let it fall. After that, literally just roll it around your finger and pin it. Sorry if the lawnmowers are annoying, but um, I was like, I'm tired of waiting on this video. So I'm gonna do it. close just a little bit to pull it out when you open it and close and you want to pull it out and then boom there's the curl right there I'm gonna pin it like I said I don't really focus too much unless I just messed up horribly I don't really focus too much on the back curls because they're gonna be underneath and really I want the bottom to show length so I don't curl it that much like my hair is pretty much like right here I don't want it to be right here. So I don't curl it too tight on the bottom, just enough to have a little bump. Now I'm gonna start curling the other way because I want the curls to like flow outward that way. I feel like Leger would be so proud of me. So we got our little curl. I wrap it around two fingers because I don't want it to be too tight with one finger. Wrap it around two fingers. If you have tracks, pin curl it to the tracks so that it doesn't come out when you sleep. It will come out if you don't have it attached to something. Curling outward, stop, and then roll. Stop, drop, and roll. And then I'm opening and closing and pulling all at the same time. Little small opens and pin it. Now let's see what's going on with the top. Split it up half and half. So let's comb it out. And I'll start back and then work my way up. And then I'm gonna literally do the same thing I did at the bottom. But this time I'm gonna take a little bit more precaution because it's the top part now. And I need it to be perfect. You see how I'm like taking my time now? Let it sit for a second. Yeah. These curls are gonna come out so beautiful. It's really not that hard. Really not that hard. I'm lying. It took me years. <laughs> That's why Leger did my hair for so many years because child. I literally didn't get good at doing this myself until I was off the team. How backwards is that? You are my You probably can't really see it. It looks really childish right now, but girl, when I comb these curls out, period, purr. Y'all haven't pin curled my hair in so long. Usually I just curl it and go about my day. Before I start doing this whole section, I'm gonna make sure that this top part is straight, like where the roots are. I don't really focus too much on the end of it because you're gonna be putting too much heat, especially if you're using your real hair. Don't really focus too much on like here on down. Just make sure that this part is straight. Now I'm still gonna take some smaller sections and then start to curl. Let it sit for a second, don't fry your hair. Boom, look at that. I just realized I look really crazy right now, but it's gonna look better. If you have a lot of hair, like if you have long hair, you definitely wanna take smaller sections because you have a lot more hair that you're dealing with and that you're wrapping. So take it in even smaller sections. You could use the same method, you know, same curling method, but make sure you're using smaller sections. Also, like determining the size has a lot to do with how you want the finished product to look. I say that because if we're dancing 
and it's hot outside, then we're gonna take more precaution when it comes to curling your hair because now you need it to work against its circumstances. When it's colder, it's way easier. Like, it's less work you have to do because you know your curls aren't gonna really fall. So, you know, it's, it's not that serious. But like, when you have to deal with heat and you dancing, like you're doing the most, that's when you need more hairspray, maybe tighter pin curls. And if you're in a pretty cool environment, it's, it's not that deep to have super tight pin curls. Cause then you might be mad like, oh my God, come on fall. Like you sitting there pulling. Because that's always my goal. I want my curls to fall really nice. I'm not really worried about how it looks when I first undo the pin curls. My concern is how will it last? Okay, so this is a pretty big section. So I'm gonna split it in half. And I'm gonna do the bottom half first. I got this flat iron, if anyone is wondering. I think it's called Plugged In. I got it from Sally's. I think I got it in 2016. I got it because Alex had it first and I really liked her flat iron. Like every time I, I uh, got my hair pink curl, I was like, I want a pink curl with Alex's flat iron. <laughs> so I eventually just got my own. Oh, I wonder if that's my package. Ain't it like Christmas when you wait on a package and then you see if they walk up my stairs, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna go get it and I'm gonna show y'all what it is. I'm super excited about it because it's some foundation. Um, oh man, see, I didn't pull enough. Y'all see that straight piece? I didn't pull enough. Let me go get it. Okay, so I now I'm a little surprised, but I'm not surprised because I was expecting one package. This is my package. This is not. This is for, I guess, someone who lived here prior to because it has the right address, it's just, they don't live here. I'm, I'm gonna send it to the office so that if this person is expecting that package, they can get it. Yeah, be nice. If y'all live in an apartment complex and you get a package that's for somebody else, just go take it to the office or you know see what you can do to get it to that person. Don't steal that person's package. Don't open that person's package because that is a federal offense, right? Am I right? <laughs> if that happened to you, you will want somebody to be like, hey, your package is here. Like I was saying, this package is it's some foundation. I'm excited about it because during this quarantine, I'm not getting as much sun as I used to during this time. So my makeup foundation isn't really matching my skin anymore. These people, uh, I see it on Instagram all the time. This is not a plug-in. Like this is literally just me telling y'all my true experience. I see their makeup on Instagram all the time and it matches people's skin beautifully. I wasn't able to go in a store and try it. Um, I just had to like do the online test and I think I'm gonna like it. I'm gonna try it out um, literally after I do this video. I'm gonna try this foundation out and let y'all know how I like it. part your hair when you have nails. You take that nail like it's the rat tail comb and boom. Y'all, I'm really giving y'all the sauce. Leger, I forgot what she used to call it. <laughs> she used to call it like some kind of beauty shop. Jay's Curls or something like, I am giving y'all the sauce from Jay Curls. This is what she did when she curled my hair. Matter of fact, a lot of people talked about my hair and how it looked in the uh, in 2016 when I led those first, my first game, that last home game. A lot of people talked about my hair, and boo, that was from Lejay McKinley. Lejay, Elise McKinley. I'm probably gonna bleep that out because she would kill me if I put her real government name on YouTube. <laughs> she is the best curler. She, I don't know where she learned her, her sauce from. I really don't, but like her curls was always bomb. And she was so solid, she'll do my hair whenever I needed her to. She could curl a lot of people's hair too. Like that's how popular her curls are. She be curling all her friends' hair because everybody knows Jay's curls is the best curls. I curled my hair and then like I saved the bang for her to do. Because I was like, you ain't gotta do my whole head, but like, can you do the bang part? And 
slayed it. And she honestly, she slayed it so good that she still had to go back low key through my curls because it didn't match. It was like really good curls. And then, girl, what was you doing? <laughs> Somebody usher this nigga into a clinic. My flow still sick, I ain't talking the pandemic. I wanted to move the camera so you guys could see um, what I'm doing better. Probably should have been here the whole time, but um, we're not gonna talk about that. Of course, bottom half and top half. Okay. Got it! Good job! When it has a little bit, then start rolling. So I'm rolling to my, towards my scalp, and then I open and close a little bit and pull so that I can catch the ends that I purposefully did, uh, missed. Then we're gonna curl it. You know, this is so hard for me to do um, without music. <sighs> Cause usually like if you're doing your makeup or you're doing your hair, you know, you wanna have some tunes in it, you'd be like, you know. But right now I can't because of copyright. Cause I'm gonna put a little beat behind the music for y'all, but I just want you to know that right now I'm recording with no music. So I feel like I have to talk every five seconds. <laughs> so what I'm about to start doing because I'm getting to the bang area may seem a little complicated, but hear me out. I'm going to comb it to like, you know, kind of downward as to how it's gonna lay. And I'm gonna start the beginning process still like that. But as I begin to curl, I'm gonna, ow, I'm gonna pull it upward. May make no sense to you, but like, that's what I be seeing Leger do low key. And I duplicate, you know? I do what she do. So that's what she do and my bang. Sometimes, you know, even go the complete opposite way. My bang is gonna be retarded. The whole section. Just watch. Just watch. Look at that. Look at that. It, it, it looks childish right now, but that's a nice curl. It's a nice curl. Oh my God, Leger is not gonna believe me. She's really not. Uh, I'm not gonna go too hard on this area because you also, it's important to know your hair. And this typically is a little thin area for me. So uh, I'm not gonna go too hard on this little part. I'm gonna just do a little one, two. And I also have like so many different layers around this part of my hair. So I just let it shake back and grow back. I'm excited that I did this video. I'm gonna start the curling process here. But then I'm gonna switch it up and start bringing it upward as I pull. And then when I start like doing the open close pull, I'm doing it the opposite way. It may seem a little weird and make no sense, but y'all, the curl is gonna fall so pretty when it's like, I'm gonna pin curl my bang flat, push it down so the curl is literally laying flat and then I'm gonna pin it. y'all knew that was beautiful you gonna see though when i undo it everything and show you the finished product with the beat face next is the beautiful edge control and this is the edge control that i use I started using this edge control because of my life sister, Farah, who's also a hair guru. Ladies, if you need a frontal or honestly any, any of your hair needs, honestly, but I just know that's what she is really known for, like her frontal installs and stuff. Farah is the bottom, okay? So what I do is I literally like take some and I put it on my hand. And then from there, I just kind of like tap and dab. I personally do not uh, like overdo my edges. I just put just enough. You don't want to put too much stress on your edges. Unless it's like a frontal, then do what you do. I just make sure that they lay down. Like that's my main focus. I don't do the fancy little baby hairs and stuff. That's cute, but I don't do that well with it, so. I just do what I know I could do. And make sure that you're not just get in this area, especially like if you're dancing, like, you know, when you dance, your hair be going every single way. Pictures are all, maybe not at tryouts, but pictures are always being captured and you don't want to be on a part where your hair is this way and then edges is just not cute. So even if it is mostly going to be hidden by your hair, 
you still want to lay down all of your edges if you're gonna be dancing and stuff. Then we take our trusty, whatever you use to lay your edges down and literally just tie them down. This is really not difficult. Just tie them down. You know I gotta use pink and green stuff because why not? And then all you have to do now is go to sleep. Literally, put your bonnet on, go to sleep real pretty. And then you'll see the magic real soon. Whenever you wake up the next morning, say your prayers to God and then Hairspray! I don't have hairspray, so that's why I didn't use it. Before you put the bonnet on and stuff like that, spray it. Literally spray it. Like that's the trick to, that's our trick to keeping our hair flawless the whole game. We pin curl it the night before and you hairspray, 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 hairspray. So when you're done pin curling it, use hairspray and then put the bonnet on, go to sleep. Whenever you take your hair down, you know, finger it out or whatever, comb it out with a wide tooth comb or something. Um, then use hairspray again, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you the finished product. I have done my makeup. This, I did kinda good, y'all. A plus, 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 plus. I love it, like I really, really do. So if you are thinking about it, literally just go take the test to like match your foundation and be true about it. Like literally when I did it, I had my laptop and then I had a mirror like right in front of me in front of some good sunlight and I was like matching my skin with the pictures that I saw. But moving on to the hair part. So I have taken off my bonnet and my, um, my edge wrap and you just wanna take out all the pin curls. Don't do anything, like don't pull, don't comb anything out yet. Just take them all out first. Take all of the pins out of your head first and then we'll get to the fun part. Okay, so they're all gone and now um, you can take a while to comb or you can just do it with your fingers. I like to do it with my fingers first. And then um, if I need the comb, then I'll use it. But I like to finger them out. Look at that, y'all. I am ready for a game, period. Who? Purred, ready for a game. Y'all, I need y'all, first of all, I just need y'all to tag Leger and let her know that, so I did my stuff. Why I couldn't pin curl my hair like this when I was on the team? Your guess is as good as mine, but look at that, y'all. Lights up just, <sighs> but yeah, y'all, this is the finished look. So guys, um, I hope you were able to follow along easily. Um, if you use this method, girl, send me some pictures. Show me your success. Love you guys. See you later. Peace. Peace. Hey, babe. I mean, I'm gonna say this.